Hi, I'm Mike Shields, Chairman of the St. Paul Building Committee. The beams are up, the roof is on, and the new church we once dreamed of is quickly becoming a reality. As the construction crews are completing the building, I'm here to ask you to help complete the furnishings. In this video, we want to walk you through the main items on our wish list. There are three things on the primary needs list. Chancel artwork and furnishings, pews and chairs, and the capital campaign. The secondary needs are the organ and numerous other things. Hi, I'm Ken Taylor, the chairman of the liturgical subcommittee. Worship is at the very heart of who we are and at the heart of worship here at St. Paul is God's grace in Christ Jesus. That grace is proclaimed to us in the word and given to us in the sacraments. That's why one of the top priorities on our wish list is to complete the chancel furnishings, which are the visual focus of worship here at St. Paul. As we enter the new sanctuary, we'll see a cross depicting Christ risen from the dead and, a, and blessing his people, along with a new altar, pulpit, and baptismal font. Our committee has a fuller report that's available to you. If you have any feedback or questions, I would certainly be happy to talk with you. At this point in time, the wish list amount for the main chance of furnishings is $77,700. $25,000 of that is already part of the construction budget. That leaves a wish list need of about $50,000. Hi, I'm Erica Marty, one of the members of the building committee. Another top priority is the sanctuary seating. Here's a seating diagram for the new sanctuary. The blue dots are the seats that we will be reusing from our current sanctuary. The green dots are chairs that are part of the new chancel furnishings. The rest of the seats are the pews and chairs that are part of this wish list item. In total, there are 492 new seats. The average cost per seat is about $275. We're hoping that many of you watching this will consider donating a seat or perhaps seats for you and your family. The order needs to be placed by the end of November. While we could get by temporarily with our existing seating and some folding chairs, it would be ideal to have the new pews and chairs installed for the dedication of our new sanctuary. The third item on the primary needs list is more support for our Building Connections capital campaign. Currently, we have about $4.2 million committed and a $5.4 million budget. That means we are expecting to add between $1.1 and $1.2 million to our church mortgage. We have enough, God willing, to complete the project, but a larger mortgage will impact our future budget decisions. More support for the capital campaign will lessen the mortgage impact on our ongoing ministry. The ultimate goal isn't to build a church, it's to use this new building along with everything we have to continue proclaiming Jesus Christ to our world. Hi, I'm Lois McKenney, Music Coordinator here at St. Paul. I'm here to explain a little more about our organ options in the new sanctuary. Our current organ can be reinstalled. That's why a new organ is on the secondary needs list. It is not essential, but there would be a significant cost savings and we would have the benefits of a brand new instrument. We could upgrade to a $130,000 organ for about $87,000. We would need to place the order early next year. Either way, current organ or new, St. Paul will be a place where instruments and our voices combine to sing about our Savior and His love. Right now the priorities are the chancel furnishings, the seating, and the capital campaign. However, there are items on a secondary needs list. Take a look at the printed wish list for a fuller description of items such as tables, chairs, and appliances for the cafe area, a couch, chairs, and a coffee table by the fireplace, gliding chairs and a table for the mother's room, a digital piano and a grand piano, communication pieces like literature racks and a welcome center, library furnishings, and more. What an exciting time as the church takes shape where we'll reach out to this community with the good news about Jesus for years to come.